Cowboys Nation, all my fellow Dallas Cowboys fans, you know I me mean? coming at you with another uh, 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 video. Hopefully, it's kind of quick. I don't make it too long. Um, I, I came across, I was reading something. You know, you read articles, you read sports blogs, other things like that, uh, comments on YouTube. I mean, things like you, you just read things, Twitter, things like that. And I, I came across something that was interesting to me. Um, it was uh, a fellow Dallas Cowboys fan, and um, he said that. Charles Tapper and Jalen Smith were wasted draft picks. I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. I mean, I mean, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an honest person, you know what I mean? I, and um, so to be honest, I, I never, I never thought about it. I never looked at it that way. I try to keep an open mind, try to look at other people's perspectives, their angles on things, and that's how you learn things, you know what I mean? And I'm sitting here, and I was like, man, okay, I never, I never looked at it that way. So I said, okay, like, let's go back and we'll look at it. And um, we'll start off with Charles Tapper, a uh, fourth round pick out of uh, Oklahoma, uh, 2015. He was all he was all Big 12. Um, one of the fastest defensive linemen at the uh, at the um, combine, and just 2016 NFL Combine. Uh, I think he either ran the fastest 40 or one of the fastest. Very athletic, very quick and speedy around the edge. Uh, I even seen him slide down. He even played some uh, two technique, uh, matched up one on one against guards and pass protection, using his speed and athleticism to to beat them. But um, in training camp, he was diagnosed with pars defect. I believe that's how you pronounce. I mean, I'm not a medical student or a medical doctor, so if I'm wrong, please let me know. But I believe it's like a pars defect. And he was diagnosed with it, I think, the second week of training camp. And he's had it his entire, he's had it since birth. And it's never been detected since, you know, since then. I mean, since it, it was never detected before training camp with the Cowboys. I was like, wow, I just, that just blew my mind when I first heard that. I was like, that's crazy. Because, you know, you get checked out medically. If you're playing D1 college football, you're going to be checked out. But it, it wasn't going through the combine. Um, it, it wasn't detected until he came to the Cowboys training camp. Pars defect, um, which is the uh, like a vertebra. I think it's called like L5. I said, I'm not a medical student, you know. I'm mean, just doing a little research. Like L5, one of the vertebrae in your back. Uh, he was he was he was out for a few weeks, and then he had a, he had a few epidural shots to try and numb the pain. But after he got the shots, I mean, most of you guys I and mean, most a lot of females giving birth in child labor get the epidural shot, but he was still having pain. And then he had a setback, and uh, and then they they basically you know, they put him on IR, so we won't see him, um, if at all, until next year. I, I believe we will. I believe we will. But you no, know, dealing with the back, you, know, you think in long term, being able to walk and being able to lift and pick up your children, and things like that. And I want Charles Tapper, the man, to be okay. But um, I don't know. He was supposed to help out a pass rush, a, a still much needed pass rush. But, you know, a wasted pick, I was like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I put it out to Cowboys Nation, talk to you guys, see how you guys feel about it. I, I've just personally, I've never looked. Maybe it's been highly discussed amongst Cowboys Nation already. I don't know. It was, I've never looked at it that way, a wasted pick. And uh, I know as fans, you want all your draft picks to succeed, obviously. The Dak Prescott thing, that's like a diamond in the rough. You're not in, in that position. You're not going to get that too often. That high level caliber play. Zeke Zeke's doing what we all expected him to do, just to be honest. We all he's doing what we all expected him to do. But you want all you want to see all your draft picks at least get on the field. That hasn't necessarily been the case for Charles Tapper. Uh not necessarily just hasn't been the case. He hasn't been on the field. Um I don't know. Do you do you guys think he was a wasted draft pick? You know? And then we got Jalen Smith. I mean, I'm, I'm no scout, but, you know, on, on my board for the 2016 NFL Draft, my top five talent prospects were number five was Carson Wentz. Number four was, I believe, Corey Coleman, the wide receiver from Baylor. Number three was Jalen Ramsey, uh, the safety of the DB from Florida State. And number two had Ezekiel Elliott. And number one on my board was Jalen Smith. I thought he was the best talent, you know, in this draft, and it's amazing we could have 
probably three of the top five rookies in this draft on the same team. Because Dak Prescott is definitely playing like one of the top five best rookies in this draft. But it's all on Jalen Smith's knee. Um, he hurt the knee uh, in the uh, Tostitos Fiesta Bowl against Ohio, against Ezekiel Elliott in Ohio State. Um, he had surgery. Now, Dr. Daniel Cooper performed his surgery about a week after the injury. Now, Dr. Cooper is also the head physician for the Dallas Cowboys. So, they, we had a lot of insight um, about, about the significance of the injury. So, I'm trusting Jerry Jones to take him in the second round. Things like that. That's still considered a pretty decent high pick. You expect things out of your second round pick. But, um, now... About within four months of this surgery, Jalen Smith, his knee, the structure of the knee, he was medically cleared. It's the nerve, the, the peroneal nerve, that's the issue. Now, according to Dr. Um, Dr. I think Daniel Cooper, according to Dr. Cooper, it takes about, usually, on average, about 9 to 15 months for the knee to, to come back to life, get the strength, it starts to grow back. You know what I mean? And, you know, it started to the recovering process. You know, but the concern is it's not guaranteed it ever will. That's why some people say it was a wasted draft pick. Let me, I mean, I don't know what, what you guys think on that. It's, it's not guaranteed it ever will. You know, um, Dr. Cooper said he's, he's seen some instances where it has. He's seen some where it hasn't. Jalen is saying Jalen Smith he is saying he's um further it's almost a year removed from his from his injury and his surgery he is starting to get tingling down from his knee to his lower leg and down to his um to his foot you know which is a great sign that the nerve accents are are growing because they saying the the electronic impulses let you know that you you have feeling. I'm no medical student. I did a little research. I'm no medical student. Well, I guess with Jalen Smith, because I know he was in an um, orthopedic um, type of boot to help him walk. He may still be in that, um, in, in an ortho boot. I'm not sure. But the nerve, it has grown a little bit, but it's not guaranteed. And that's the major concern. That's the, the the knee and the ACL itself. He's been cleared for that. That's good. The structure of the knee is just that the peroneal nerve, the growth of it, getting the strength back, getting the um the nerve axons, seeing the electronic pulses. He said he's been getting tingling sensations in his leg, which is a good sign, great sign actually. You know. Now Dr. Cooper says worst case scenario, um, is that Jalen Smith has multiple surgeries. Um, tendon transfer. I've never heard of that. I've heard of heart, I mean, organ transplant, stuff like that. But, <laughs> but uh, that's just me. You know what I mean? Um, tendon transfer, which would help him, um, allow him to be able to lift his foot on his own. Uh, which is good, but he's still going to be limited. Um, he said that's worst case scenario. Best case scenario, the nerve grows back, everything is good, and you know he returns to Jalen Smith at Notre Dame. You know, he may be a little slowed down a little bit, but he's so explosive and so athletic, it's not going to be a huge significant drop-off, you know, being able to compete at the NFL level. But, like I say, it's just, it's not guaranteed for that nerve, you know what I mean? So, are, are is Charles, Charles Tapper and Jalen Smith, are they wasted draft picks? You guys, let me know, Cowboys Nation, Cowboys Nation, let me know what you guys think on that. Um... And like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. It's Charles Tapper and Jalen Smith. Are, are they wasted draft picks? Let me know what you think, Cowboys Nation, man. This is your boy, The Real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.